justice. That is what people in Pine Ridge want for Ashton Provost. The young mother died last year. A man is in custody charged with second degree homicide. Kevin Lands Dan Centella was at today's hearing where a lot of frustration was voiced. Ashton Provost and Baby Angel. Ashton Provost and Baby Angel. The chant rang out today in Pine Ridge where people held signs demanding justice. The miscommunication from the court system to the family is unacceptable. Ashton's family is in mourning. They should not have to go searching for updates and answers on this case. Provost's family tells Kelloland News their pregnant daughter lost her life to gun violence last August. I call on the U.S. Attorney General and the U.S. Department of Justice for a complete and swift action on this case. Puyer says the criminal justice system has let down Provost's family. They were met until recently. They were met with disdainment, apathy, and a general non-concern. Norma Rendon, who leads a victim's advocacy group, shared her own anger. We have two council representatives here and I'm thankful for them, but every one of our council reps should be out here. They should be as disgusted about this as we are. Inside the Justice Center, there was a court hearing for the 19-year-old man charged in Provost's death, her boyfriend, Mackenzie Big Crow. The judge set a deadline of late May for the appointment of a special prosecutor in the case. Following the hearing, a captain with the Oglala Sioux Tribe's Department of Public Safety said a federal indictment is expected by the end of next month or June. Both Provost's and Big Crow's family were at the Justice Center today. My 19-year-old daughter while pregnant, was brutally murdered by her boyfriend. She was taken from Briella, my three-year-old granddaughter. Her dad, myself, siblings, countless family members and friends. No way murdered her. He did not murder her. It was an accident. But each family nevertheless mourns a mother, daughter, and loved one who is gone. And they each want justice to take place. Let justice be served, yes. Let the judicial system work. I ask all of you, put yourselves in my shoes for a minute. How would you feel and what would you do? I just want justice for my kid. In the coming days, we'll have an eye on Kel Lamb that takes a closer look at her daughter's life, death, and legacy. Reporting on the Pine Ridge Reservation, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. The tribal president says they will not be commenting on this matter since it is an open case.